Hello folks. I hope that you're having just a great and safe day today. Today I'm going to take a look at Richard Matheson and his work, uh, Born of Man and Woman. It was published in 1950 for fantasy stories, so we're taking a look at it now. My copy of it is in the Science Fiction Hall of Fame, uh, which was, um, you know, and I've come back to this occasionally here and there for you, and I'll probably continue to do so, because every story in here is probably worth me going over for a review for. And I've probably done about half of them now. Uh, but this collection has was put together by the Science Fiction Writers of America, um, who put together their collection of the best stuff from the early era before they got started. These are sort of the stories that would have won Nebula Awards. They're highly regarded by their peers um, and that sort of thing. And it's one thing to be awarded by the fans like the Hugo Award is. It's another thing uh, for as a best work. It's another thing to get a Nebula from your peers, the people who do the same thing you do. Because if you decide to push the bounds of writing to be something avant-garde, you may not have as many readers, but you're going to have the appreciation of your peers. And so that's why I like this book. And every short story that's in it is pretty good. Um, and definitely it's probably going to be something we're going to be taking a look at. So we're going to be taking a look at Richard Matheson's Born of Man and Woman, published in 1950. Now Richard Matheson is a name that any science fiction fan will know. Yeah, he also wrote some science. He also wrote some horror too, uh, as he wrote the, the I Am Legend stuff, which is a science fiction horror uh, that envisions the entire world of vampires except for our main character um, and what that would be like. Uh, and there is this disease that has impacted people, a sort of a vampire disease. Um, it's a pretty good book. Um, it's been okay, turned into movies a couple of times, but the book is pretty good. So um, you're probably familiar with Richard Matheson for his some of his books. But we'll be taking a look again at his short story, Born of Man of Woman. Uh, and it's not that long. It's only three pages in my collection. It's more like flash fiction. Um, it's almost written in a journal setting. And you will take the, the point of view of, of a character who is a, a younger character um, who uses broken um, English for their journal and their conversations about these things that are happening. So I won't take you very far into it because, again, uh, a synopsis of a page and a half only leaves a page and a half. <laughs> uh, so I won't, I won't do like a deep, deep synopsis of it. Uh, but I will say for you that the, uh, the the few pages that's invested in it is very well done. It's incredibly strong. And uh, it goes in a different direction than you would expect when you sit down to read it. I've read it now twice. Uh, I read it again this morning when I was having a bath, um, getting, up, getting up in the morning. So again, it's not a long read at three pages. It feels like flash fiction. You, it'll be worth your time. I'll link you to this collection at the below so you can get a chance to check it out for yourself. Um, I don't want to spend too much of your time with it because again, it's just a three page flash fiction short story. I like it. It's inventive. It's good. It's well written as you would probably expect from Richard Matheson. But there you are. I'll go ahead and leave you to it. So have you read it? What'd you think of it? Have you read anything else by Richard Matheson? Uh, did you agree or disagree with anything in my video? Please let me know in the comments below. I'll be happy to engage you with it further. I want to thank you for your time investing it in my video. We all have so many things happening in our lives. So the fact that you spent this time with me and invested it with me, that's very humbling. And I really do appreciate that. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, please feel encouraged to hit that subscribe button. There's going to be so many more of these to follow. And that's going to be it. Thank you so much for your time. You have a great day. Bye-bye.